Hello, and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Complex Super Advanced M&A Merger Modeling Course. By now, we have just finished creating the standalone Target standalone core projection model, which we will use to acquire JCPenney. You will need, again, the JCPenney core leverage buyout model. And, of course, you will also have the merger model template file open as well. So please make sure you have all three files open. Again, the merger model template provided the Tari J standalone projection model we just completed, as well as the JCPenney core LBO, again, the core LBO, not the enhancements model. And now let's combine them all together. Let's do this first. Turn to our Excel merger model template. You should have the merger summary, merger income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, debt suite, and ratios page. What I would like you to do now is, I've got my three files open. I would like you to first go to your JCPenney LBO, the core LBO model, whatever you had named your file, doesn't matter. And I'm going to open that up. And what I'd like you to do is, first of all, select all the sheets in the JCPenney Leverage Bio Core model. So you can select all the sheets here. We're going to move it into the merger model template. So Alt S, W for Wall Street Training, add in macro, two bars on top, W for worksheet, A for select all worksheets right in the middle here, select all worksheets. So when you click on that, now you see all the worksheets selected. You can do this in a couple ways. Yes, you can, um, uh, as I think we had done this in one of our previous, in the LBO, you can use your mouse and you can right click on any one of these tabs and you can say move or copy. All, otherwise, you could go Alt-E for edit, M for move or copy sheet, and now it says move selected sheets to which book. I will hit Alt-T to go to to book and select merger template, merger model template, hit tab to go to before sheet and hit end or page down and it says move to end. Do not need to select create a copy because we want this file to automatically close once you move everything over, hit enter, and everything gets moved over. Okay, so now we brought in our uh, leverage buyout model for JCPenney. A couple of things I need you to do, I need you to change the file name, the, the tab names, so that it says JCPenney in the front. I also need you to go to the LBO summary, and I want you to change this to no transaction switch, because obviously you won't model out you buying the company with the, you won't model out the company with the, uh, uh, after an LBO. So go to X1 on your LBO summary that you have now brought in. You're now in the merger model template file. By the way, sometimes, depending on how Excel acts up, you may have noticed that you may or may not have crashed. If so, if you did, just go back and redo it again. X1, you're going to make that a 1. And we are now in the no transaction scenario of our JCPenney standalone status quo. And just to check that, your income statement on your LBO summary, LBO JCPenney is $5.11 in your income statement in cell M21, so that means you're good. What I want to do is now, for every one of these tab names down here, I want to stick in JCPenney in front. Here's the fastest way to do it without using your mouse. I want you, you're now in your LBO summary, go back to your LBO summary, I want you to hit Alt-O-H-R, or enter, Alt-O-H-R for rename, and now you select the file name, the tab name. Hit Home, and type in JCP space in capital letters for JCPenney. I want you to hit Shift Home to select, and now I'm in the bottom here, small text here, JCP all in caps, space, select all that, Control C to copy it. Hit Enter. There's no easy way to stick that in all, all of these tabs, so you have to do it one by one. Control page down to the income statement for JCP, hit the same thing. Alt O H R for sheet rename, Home, Control V to paste JCPenney space in front of the income statement. Enter to accept the change to the tab name. Control page down and balance sheet, same thing, Alt-O-H-R, home, control V, enter, control page down, etc. Why don't you spend a few seconds now and get that done for all of the tabs that you have not brought in. Clearly on your IRR, you have a lot of values, no big deal, because you're in the no transaction scenario. Now what I would like to do is go back to your, oh, by the way, if you're at this point, hit control S to save the file, just in case you crash again when you bring in the target. And now go to your target file, target file. So I'll hit Control Tab, or you can go to your Windows, your Window menu, and get in your Target model. Same thing. Select everything. Alt S W A, Alt E M, Alt T. Move it to Merger. Tab over. Move to the end. Hit Enter. And now all your Target files are brought in, and there you go. Now we finish bringing all our files. This way we have one self-contained file with the target company, J.C. Penney with the acquirer, Target, all in one spreadsheet. We have all of our merger tabs as well. We're ready to rock and roll at this point. 
One of the key fatal errors is never link between cells, or never link between files, excuse me, never link between files. That's why we're bringing everything together here. I'm going to go to the very first tab, Control Shift, less than sign. Let's get ready to start building our merger model file. If you have problems while bringing some of your, the files and the tabs, you can pause the video now and take a look and get it done. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Let me quickly explain how the merger summary is going to work and then we'll go ahead and build it. Similar to our LBL summary, uh, I'm going to zoom out like this. I know it's hard to see, but you have your file in front of you. We're first going to build in, as we did with the LBO, we're first going to build in our transaction assumptions. We're going to build in our financing scenarios for cash versus uh, uh, debt issuance. We're going to also build in, build in our options, which we'll copy and paste because we already have that. We'll do our valuation, figure out how much we're going to buy the company for, figure out our post-transaction summary, how much, who owns what. Do a purchase price allocation because now we're going to do potential step up to fair market value. I'll also show you the different scenarios to get that 338 H10 election, which you remember from our m and deal structure course and our merger modeling basics course. We're going to then calculate our very important critical sources and uses of funds. Again, uses of funds, are we going to refinance any of our existing debt? Are we, how are we going to raise the money? Are we going to uh, put in additional equity? Are we going to put in additional debt, etc.? So we're going to issue any stock. Remember, this is not a private equity firm coming in, not, not the financial sponsor equity, but the equity in stock that you issue to the target company, JCPenney, in this case. We'll also do a schedule for deductibility of intangibles. This will affect our tax implications. And then once we're done with that, we're going to flip to the income statement. So control page down to merger income. And a merger income statement, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in JCPenney as well as Target. We're going to bring in the revenues. We're going to put in a line item for synergies. We won't calculate any synergies here. Same thing for COGS, as well as expenses. We'll do a lot of deduction of assets. And we're going to calculate down to earnings per share, EBITDA, et cetera. While we're doing that, we're all, what we're also going to do is build a tax schedule. We'll calculate our existing depreciation and our new ex depreciation. We'll do a tax schedule because this will, again, if you recall from our M&A deal structuring course, which is very important for you to go through and review that if you forgot the concepts we went through there, especially deductibility of intangibles, and making the correct full-blown analysis of how to do your step up to fair market value, if it's an asset deal, or if you're doing a 338 H10 election. Then we'll go to our balance sheet. We're going to grab in the acquirer, which would be Target. We're 